This is Project Hotbox, the styrofoam container. It's got an Arduino Uno controlling it. I swapped out, put a blue LED on it, but it's an actual Uno. Anyways, um, here's the status LED, or status LCD. It's currently 55 degrees in there, 90 degrees is the target, nice and low because it's just a test. That white LED <coughs> means that the, uh, the light, which is the heat source, is on inside. It's controlled by a solid state relay inside that outlet box. So, there it is. Oh, temperature went down. Oh, don't do that. Because I opened the lid. So, we'll wait for it to warm up. It's a little cold in here. Here it is in the dark. I just wanted to show that the, uh, the box kind of glows with that light inside. Camera's having trouble here, but there we go. That's about what the box looks like to me. Kind of a glow. Here it is. Light bulb's uh, warming things up in there. It's currently 68 degrees. We'll see it tick up in a second here. I'd say it probably takes about 20 minutes to get from the 57 that it started at up to about 90. There's 69.4. It just takes its time. There's 70. And yeah, we're just ticking away. We're homing in on the target. We're at 86. It's kind of funny if you're uh, near this thing. Um, you can kind of hear the styrofoam creaking as it gets up to temperature. I'm uh, not sure what the deal with it, that is. Maybe it's just the air inside expanding and trying to push this thing open and let itself out probably most likely the case. Anyways, 87.8. So we're almost there. This white light indicates whether the heater's on or not. Whether the bulb inside. The fan inside continues to run. Um, usually when it's coming up like this from so low, it'll overshoot the target a little bit because I don't have it turn off until it hits 90. With a little fancier programming, I, I could have the initial rise um, shut off like now and it'd probably rise to 90 before com coming back down. But I just made the algorithm but simple. If it's more than 90, turn off the light. If it's less than 90, turn it on. So, And of course, you know, all these jumper wires, most of them are for the LCD, but this is just a prototype oh. proof of concept. I'd probably put it in a better chamber, but I had this laying around and obviously it's beat up and worn out, so I didn't mind drilling holes in it and stuff. 89.6, we're almost there. It's obviously, there we go, 90.5 and the light went out. Um, I'd pop it open and show you, but you can see it's not glowing at all. So, we'll see how much it oversh overshoots here. 91.4, so see it went up a little bit. There's some latent heat in the bulb. I'll stay at 91.4 for two and a half minutes. The light's been out for about three minutes now. There. See the light twitching as it approaches that temperature. There. Probably not the greatest thing for an incandescent bulb to be twitching like that. Like I said, I could add some better code to give it some hysteresis. Right now it's got none. It's either above or below. But hey, there's no temperature swing when you've got no hysteresis. It'll, uh, it'll pretty well worship 90 degrees. And uh, incandescent bulbs are cheap anyways. You can blink them quite a bit. They'll put up with it. It does a really nice job of holding the temperature. Since it has a swing 0.9 degrees from side to side got some buffer in there. It doesn't take much of that bulb being on to maintain the temperature in the chamber. 